So this next trip takes me to the exciting city of Las Vegas, and like always, I try to avoid the crowds in the airport. Fortunately, I was flying on American Airlines, which meant I had access to the Honolulu Admirals Club. Even better, they brought back the chicken curry. If you've traveled through the Honolulu airport, you know we don't have the biggest selection of airport lounges around. And the ones that we do have here are kind of, mm, let's say the light version per se. One real nice thing about the Honolulu Admirals Club is that they've partnered with Japan Airlines and the Sakura Lounge. So that makes it one of the best airport clubs in the Honolulu airport. One thing that has always struck me as kind of odd is just how hidden the Honolulu Admirals Club for American Airlines is. The, the sign itself is kind of like temporary up there, almost like they're ready to close it down within a minute's notice. No permanent signage up. And it's just kind of tucked in as if you're going into a completely different restaurant. Of course, when you walk down through here, you've got the stairs on the right, and then you have these elevators that go up to the second floor that only say airline lounges and still don't tell you what lounges are up there. Now, if you've traveled with someone like my father, of course you take the stairs, even if that means lugging up your carry-on luggage up two flights to the entrance of the Honolulu Admirals Club. The front desk agents at the Honolulu Admirals Club, or angels as we like to call them, are not only some of the best on the island, but from what I've heard and what I've read online, these angels are some of the best in the entire American Airlines system. They always greet me with an early email that comes out introducing themselves and letting, them, letting me know that they're ready for me to arrive on my departure date. I really enjoy making these travel reviews for you. If you enjoy watching them, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. When I walked into the club, it was busy. So here are some shots from earlier in the year. You'll see a lot of the dividers are up. All of these in between the desks, those are all gone now. It's pretty much open. However, the dividers at the main food area are still up. Of course, lots of seating throughout, power outlets, and the wonderful views of the interior garden. A perfect plot place to relax and get ready before your trip. The soft drinks and juices are back to self-serve, which is great. If you want to order alcohol, you do need to order at the counter and make sure everybody who's ordering a glass is present. Otherwise, they won't give it to you. On the menu that day was the chicken karaage, the curry chicken, and stir-fried vegetables. Delicious. Right next to the main area of food are the snacks. They've got little danishes, croissants, some bear claws, and some little pretzels and chips and stuff. But I encourage you to try the ramen station. They have these little ramen packets here. Just go ahead and crack them open, drop them into the bowls that you can find right underneath. Use the pump action to get that boiling hot water out. Put some uh, green onions on there and you have a delicious bowl of ramen perfect before a flight anywhere in the world and if you don't know by now my favorite the Japanese chicken curry one of the benefits of partnering with Japan Airlines in the lounge this is one of the best chicken curries I have had anywhere on the island of Oahu hey coming up next I'm jumping on a plane I'm flying to Phoenix I'm gonna give you a full review main cabin extra on a 787-9 I hope you join me and I'll see you guys in the lobby